I'm going to take the next couple of minutes and review the Alcatel Lucent 8 series IP4068 telephone. Say that five times fast. So we'll take a look at some of the distinguishing features of this particular station. First and foremost, it is a gigaspeed phone, so 10100-1000 layer 2 data switch in the back of the phone. There's also a connection for an external loud ringer, as well as a 3.5 millimeter jack located right here on the side of the telephone. That 3.5 millimeter jack can be used for Bluetooth for external speakers to allow for a larger volume to come out of the speakerphone. Um, there's also an add-on module uh, sold by Alcatel Lucent that is a miniature conference phone, so you don't have to go with a dedicated conference device. You can actually have a, a mobile attachable plug-in uh, speakerphone and microphone. Now the station itself, the 4068, also has a built-in Bluetooth radio, so you can attach any Bluetooth headset to it. It has an optional Bluetooth handset, which you can see here. Um, that Bluetooth handset itself uh, will give you a new message indication. Of course, you can change the volume, um, hang up. You can see charging is built right into the hook. And because this phone does not have a mechanical hook flash, it actually has an electromechanical. There's a magnet inside the uh, system here that uh, turns it on and off. But because of that being electronic, uh, headsets are very easy to install in this system and they do not require uh, a lifter kit to be able to turn the phone on and off, um, or turn audio on and off. So as you can see, the screen, um, we have multiple soft keys available here. Every phone in the family that has a large screen, so those are the top three phones, um, has 40 programmable keys on the screen. As you can see here, I'm just scrolling through. Um, you can navigate using this directional pad. Uh, there's your menu for settings, stations, uh, features, those types of things. And of course, you can move all the way over to info, giving you your IP, um, addressing your extension number, um, if you have new messages and those types of things. So very intuitive to use. Uh, the phone has a hang-up, and it has a speakerphone. All messages. Text and otherwise will light up the message waiting lamp. You have a hold and a transfer key here. You have a redial key, volume, and mute. And the nice thing about this screen is that it uh, dynamically places uh, the keys that you need when you need them. So for example, if I were to go off hook, you'll see that I get a redial list and I get my personal speed dial. So it makes it very easy for me to access dialing features. Um, when I'm on a call, hold and transfer will display on the screen as well as having their own dedicated keys and other features as they're uh, programmed into the phone will actually populate onto the screen. Now, the elephant in the room and what makes this phone really so different from anything else out on the market is the QWERTY keypad. Now, this for a lot of folks is, is a very different way to uh, approach a telephony device. We're very used to dialing, um, using the number pad to dial by name, using the number pad to search for things. Um, but that's not how people use telephones today. In today's world, everybody has a smartphone. Um, they're used to using a touch screen or they're used to using some sort of slide out QWERTY keyboard. Nobody presses the five key three times to get to the letter L. They type L. So why not have your office technology match what you carry to and from your house on a day-to-day -day basis? Why be uh, behind the curve? So the Alcatel Lucent is very intuitive. If you want to start looking for folks, you just type L. And you'll see here, we've got the dial by name comes up. It asks you to dial last name. And as you keep typing, it'll pull up a list um, in your directory. Now, that list can be populated via LDAP. That list can be populated manually. Um, that list also contains not just first and last names of internal dialers, but it can be external calls. It can be internal groups. Um, it can be page groups. Uh, you can even assign names to phones instead of saying uh, a person's name. You can have it um, morning on call phone, um, evening on call phone, floor one phone, floor two phone. So you can assign the name of the phone based on its activity as opposed to having to attach it to a human being making it very, very flexible. Um, you can dial by any type of text that you, you want to label that phone as. So it makes, it makes it very easy for folks to find who they need and what they need.
Now, in addition to being able to dial by name using the QWERTY keyboard, the QWERTY keyboard adds a couple of other features as well. Uh, you have the ability to text message other phones using that keyboard. Um, it actually makes texting functional between stations. Um, many phone systems have some sort of limited text capability, but it, again, at the end of the day, you're mashing buttons multiple times to try to get to a particular letter, whereas on this phone, you just type. Um, those text messages can also be sent with uh, optional software, can be sent to a desktop application, or those text messages could be, again, optionally sent out using an SMS uh, agent, so you could actually text phones external to the phone switch, so other people's cell phones. Uh, finally, that QWERTY keyboard allows for alphanumeric passcodes, so you can have an incredibly secure passcode uh, scheme within your office, you know, uppercase, lowercase, uh, letters and numbers um, for your passcodes as opposed to just simple numbers, which can be, be hacked in a relatively short period of time. In addition, the phone has a simple EEPROM memory, meaning that when it is disconnected, there is no data um, regarding the phone system except for the IP address of the phone um, in the phone itself. So with that, um, uh, many IP phones will actually store caller ID information, they'll store call history, they'll store call logs, um, they'll even store some speed dials and whatnot. Um, so you could, uh, on other phone systems, take the phone and actually get some proprietary business information from them. Not on these phones, they're designed to be uh, highly secure in that way. So that gives you a quick high-level view of the features and functions and what we think are the real distinct advantages of the 8 series IP phones. Uh, we'll take a look at some of the other phones in, in future videos, but this will give you just a, a first brush at what we think is, is a very sophisticated and versatile phone.